Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo, and this is your short short for today. Yeah, and with a little bit of fluff, too. Who you see on the screen is Josh Bonney. He must really be feeling the heat right now. The co head of the firm Simpson Thatcher Bartlett. Yes, that is the firm that paid Hinman millions while he was at the SEC and then returned back after his time was done uh, as the director of corporate finance, he must feel very uncomfortable right now. Let me explain. So what's pushing up that heat? It's this tweet from attorney John Deaton. You just won't believe it. It's an email dialogue between Josh Bonney and William Hinman. It starts on March 7th, 2018. That's about three months before the famous Ethereum is not a security speech. John predicts that when someone finally asks William Hinman about the 15 million from the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, that's the EEA, the member Simpson Thatcher, that's the law firm, I guarantee he denies knowing that his law firm was a member of the EEA. Save this tweet. He goes on to say, why I'm so sure to guarantee my prediction? One, it doesn't pass the laugh test, smell test, taste test, or any other basic ethics test. If he admits he knew Sim Simpson Thatcher was a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, People will ask him, well, why didn't you disclose it? Oh, so you agree it looks bad, right? Here is the proof. In an email, Hinman tells his buddy at Simpson Thatcher that the ethics office of the SEC is resisting him going to an ad hoc dinner. Dinner if lawyers from Simpson Thatcher will be there. No way Hinman cleared that speech with the ethics office knowing about the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. I so agree. This dialogue is really, really bad. Hinman says that the SEC ethic folks were resisting the attendance, and so he didn't like the idea of the firm missing the meeting because of him. So Josh came back and suggested maybe they could implement a protocol, no talking or questions, so their presence looked purely passive. Obviously, attempting to change the optics because this would be seen as such a clear conflict. Josh goes on to say, they can sit out if it makes things easier on him. So this is really a cover up to the association, both of them clear and simple. The code of ethics, applies to all directors, officers, and employees to uphold the highest levels of business and personal integrity in all types of transactions and interactions, including questionable behavior. This email is not honest. It was meant to deceive the ethic folks. There is to be no personal or professional gain but we know that is not the case. Josh goes on to say in detail here, does Jay have the same issue with his law firm? So he acknowledges that the association is an issue. I don't know, I'm out of words. There's no way I'm going to mess up all the interesting news that I want to bring you from Asia that's happening in the crypto space. I need to make it free of this corruption. So we'll end this one by jumping to the fluff. 
When you visit a home in Japan, especially with someone who might be a little bit older, you'll find these leaflet trash bins, a small paper folded box, usually to put your, mm, I don't know, mandarin peels in or some small waste paper from packaging. It's a kind of art of origami, and it is also practicing the philosophy of motanai, which means not to waste anything. It may seem a little silly, but it's real world example of Japanese blended philosophy and culture together. The instructions can often be found, oh, in many forms. This is just happens to be one that's on Instagram. And you'll very often see them stacked up, ready to just use whenever you need them. And I just find it kind of special. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.